So Dave, finally back at it, uh, second training session. It must be good to get back on the grass. Yeah, brilliant. Um, part of the reason we're in a little bit early is because the lads were desperate to get back in. So we had them in on Tuesday, um, good turnout. We had 15 players down, uh, 11 who were signed with us and four trialists. So we, we know we're in a little bit too early. So we're just going to do four sessions. We'll speak to the players after the four sessions and we'll probably drop it down to once a week um, before we get the start date. Once we get the start date, we'll put that seven week program together and then the pre-season games can start as well. But yeah, it was good. Some of the lads, yeah, they've got a lot of work to do. They, they, we kept it, we try to keep it short and sharp, but um, it was quite intense at the same time. So we're going to drop it down a little bit tonight, a little bit of fun. And for us as coaches, it's, it's challenging to actually put sessions on where the, the social distancing's got to be in yeah. place. So we're working in small groups of five. It'll be the same again tonight. And then a little bit more of it next Tuesday, Thursday, and we'll see where we are from there. Some of the lads regretting wanting to come back in now then. <laughs> they were when they were blown the other day, yeah. Um, we try, it's all ball work. Yeah. It's all ball work, but... You don't want to get them in and just, just stand around doing uh, exercises for an hour and a half. So, um, yeah, a little bit of competitive side mm. of it. Um, they were on the move all the time. And, yeah, there was a fitness element to it just to see where the lads are. But we, we always review our session. We probably pushed them a little bit too much on, on Tuesday. So we'll bring it down a little bit tonight and just ease them, ease them back into it over the next few training sessions. So it's almost like a pre-pre-season. So when the pre-season does start, you feel they'll be ready to go straight from the gun then? Yeah, I'll be honest with you, if we were starting and there was a seven week till the first game of the season, I'd be a little bit concerned because some of the lads are mm -hmm. way below what would, they would normally be and you can expect that because we haven't had this break before. So I'm glad we are, are doing these sessions. There's a whole load of, reason, whole load of reasons why we've got them in early and there is arguments for it being too early, but I think it outweighs it on the, on the right side of it. So... Um, I'm looking at players who I, I normally bank on being very fit and the, the way off, but the, that's to be expected at this point and we'll build it up slowly and when the, the seven week comes into effect, we've got a good base to work from. And you must be pleased, obviously you've got most of the squad from last year and you feel like you've, you're maybe getting your recruitment started uh, early as well, aren't you? Yeah, we're delighted with all parts of it, so we're delighted with the lads who stayed. Um, losing Tom Dean was a little bit of a blow, but we've got to move on. Um, Yanni and Kings have came in. We've got two potential trialists at the moment who we, we like the look of. And we've also got another signing over the line today, but we, we can't announce that at the moment. That'll be announced uh, early next week. But it's another player that we're excited to have on board. So. For me now, I'm looking probably three to four more signings and trying to keep hold of the rest of the squad. And like I said before, we're in a very, a very good place at the moment compared to this time last year. I think my first training session, we had four or five signed players. I'd just lost a physio we brought in. I'd lost an, another player who'd joined another club within one training session. Um, and we're in a completely different place. We've got all of our staff in place. We've got most of our players in place. And that was just fine-tuning them, uh, the players that we want in down the, down the spine of the squad because the player who's coming today is another one that will add a little bit to us in the wide areas. And it's such a feel-good factor around the club, isn't it, both on and off the field? I mean, you can see the transformation in the main stand and uh, the, what happened over the summer with the donations and things like that. It's just in a good place at the minute, isn't it? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Everyone's buying into it, aren't they? And it's only a small detail in terms of painting the stand red and the seats, but it starts to give us our, our identity back. The club's lost its identity over the last few years. And even next week, the dressing rooms are going to get refurbished with, with Hyde United badges all over. And you do go to some place and you're a little bit envious of that identity they've got, but we can get that back. And due to the hard work of the supporters and all the volunteers, we're, we're starting to do that. So hopefully by the time the season starts, you come to this ground and it looks like a high United ground mm. because let's be honest, it's still at the moment the, the, the Man City, um, the Man City effect's still here a little bit. So let's get it back to what high United is and then we can start to kick on on the pitch because now there's a little bit of a foundation in place off the pitch. Brill, cheers, Dave.